Hey everyone, uh, we're going to talk today about uh, adjusting uh, exponential functions and using sliders, things like that, uh, to kind of modify what they look like. Uh, so if I'm, uh, and then we'll move over to the graph project and uh, try one on that. Uh, but just before we get started with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in an exponential function. Uh, so we know exponential functions have the variable uh, like x and the exponent. Uh, the base usually is going to be some sort of positive number. Uh, so I like to use 2 or e. Uh, something like that is uh, pretty good. And then to modify it, right, we can uh, put in the usual things like x minus h. Uh, if we want to move it left and right, uh, we can put in the y minus k or plus k if it's on the other side. Uh, and those are going to allow us to slide things right left and right or up and down uh, for those exponential functions. Uh, I'll go ahead and put in also this uh, point hk. And notice this point is not um, specifically on the graph, but I can still drag it and move that graph around. So, um, so that can help you uh, kind of drag things rather than always having to, to move the sliders. Uh, there's two other things I'll put in. Um, which are stretching factors. Uh, so one I'll put in uh, right here. So I'll say uh, let's put an A out in front. Uh, so this will stretch things up and down. And then we'll put uh, maybe a B right here uh, in the exponent. And this will stretch things left and right. Uh, so I'll go ahead and add those. Uh, so now if I um, change A, right, if it goes down to 0 and then negative, uh, this will stretch things either up or down. Uh, the B, right, will stretch things left and right uh, and also uh, allow us to make that curve a little sharper um, or curve a little sharper in the other direction. So um, that'll be helpful when we're getting uh, into the project. Um, if we need a really sharp corner or one that's uh, more curved, we can adjust that B value that's up there uh, in the exponent. Uh, you could also just adjust the base, right? So instead of 2 to the B, you could just put a, a base B. But uh, a lot of times you'll get more uh, change uh, a little faster if you have that B is uh, something in the exponent that you can slide rather than just the entire base itself. So, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Uh, some other guides you could put in if you wanted. Um, the asymptote, right, is it Y equals K? Uh, so we know in one direction, either to the left or to the right, it'll approach that asymptote, uh, depending on if that A is negative or um, A is positive, right? It'll go this way. Uh, if we want to adjust the B to negative values, then we can get a decreasing function, right? And uh, it'll approach the asymptote on the right instead of on the left. So, uh, so those are some adjustments you can make uh, to those guys. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, open up my graph and we'll start uh, maybe trying to uh, put in some stuff over here. So I already have, uh, I'm going to hide this one. Uh, so we already have this. I have D because I was using B somewhere else uh, for now. Uh, but we'll go ahead and focus on uh, these guys right here. So I got an A, um, D, and then my X and H, right, um, or H and K uh, kind of right there. Uh, so I'm looking at this red curve uh, that's right here. And some potential places I might could try are uh, maybe this mouth area or um, maybe part of this tongue, right? I could try that. Uh, maybe some of these stripes, I could use some exponentials on those. Um, so you're just looking for things that curve. Um, and uh, maybe this stripe over here right by the chin, uh, that might also be another one. Um, so there may be in your picture uh, several places that you could put something. There may be only a few. It just kind of depends on your picture. So I'm going to go for this stripe over here. Uh, this looks sort of exponential-ish uh, in that region. And I'm just going to modify right um, where I want some of these guys. So I definitely want that A value to be negative. Uh, so I'm going to make it going down. All right, so we can uh, maybe put it somewhere this vicinity. Right now, this curve is a little too sharp. 
Uh, so I'm going to want to take that D value down a bit more towards zero, uh, make it bend a little bit more gently, not as sharply uh, for that, and then uh, kind of put it in there. Uh, so that right is looking pretty good to me. Uh, a is negative 0.4, D is 1.8. If you want to zoom in, you can, but um, don't forget, you're going to be zoomed out on some of these guys when uh, when you're looking at it. So, um, so it just needs to be somewhat right, somewhat close um, to the original on those. Uh, so that looks pretty good to me. Uh, don't forget before you leave, right? Um, once you get something that looks good, you want to go ahead and um, put that in place. So I would say this is going to be a, a y equals, right, with my a. Uh, negative 0.4 times that uh, 2, so times 2 to the d, which was 1.8. Uh, in the exponent, we got x minus h, so x minus 6.43. And then plus the k on the outside, so plus that 5.43. Uh, so there's my equation. Uh, they're both red, so that didn't really help. I'll go ahead and make this one black, uh, just so we can see it. So that is the same black curve that's right there. And then I do want to restrict it, right? So I'm going to restrict it to be around here, about uh, 5.44 in the x direction. Uh, so this is going to be curly braces, so 5.44 less than or equal to x, right? So that's my leftmost point. And then my rightmost would be somewhere down here around uh, 7.69. Uh, so then we'll say less than or equal to 7.69. Uh, so there is, oh, I got too many of those. Uh, so there's my equation, right, with uh, that restriction. And now I can modify uh, the a's and d's again or drag this around if I want to try to uh, do something else, right? I could come over here at the tongue, uh, maybe switch this over um, that d value to a negative so it's going this way and then work on something like that. So, um, or maybe um, I want to wait on that till I can uh, maybe do this part and then uh, come back and do that part later. So, um, but I might can try some of these other stripes or uh, maybe this part of the hand or uh, maybe this part of the hand up here. Uh, so just uh, look around, right, for uh, parts that have kind of this curve. Uh, it can be even a sharper kind of curve or a more gentle curve uh, that's going through. You might be able to model it with a quadratic OK, um, and you might be able to model it with an exponential OK. Uh, just kind of depends on, on the place. So, um, so I'm going to say that is good for that piece, and then I might go and look around for a few other pieces on there. Uh, we'll do another video with logs, but uh, we'll go ahead and call that one good, and I'll see you on the next one.